So, how are you, sir? How's lockdown going? And um, what have you been up to in the lockdown? Anything interesting? Any movies, books, or TV shows that you watched? No, I think uh, I discover myself. Uh, when you spend so much time with yourself, you come to know who you are. Uh, in lifetime, we keep on spending time every day and day out. We do the similar thing here. We got a chance to think what we are doing, what we're supposed to do. And uh, discovering myself was the best thing happened in my life. A lot of people criticized during this period. I say it was uh, the best time I had in, within myself. So, so do you think the mindset is the most important thing in difficult situations like this? It's not a difficult situation. It's a, it's a different time. Uh, yes, a difficult situation for them who can't eat, they can't do that. But where in life you get a time to yourself? If, uh, I'm 60 years old. I get time to spend with myself. I thought that's the best thing happened in me. I always look for the positive thing and this is what the positive happened. Uh, what do I like? Uh, I mean, things in front of me changing, so <laughs> beautiful. My garden, my clothes, my shoes, you know, all those things I never done before. And so, then it has to, to look after myself. It's a wonderful. Yeah, I feel sorry for those people who get uh, sick. They're not looking after themselves. And, uh, you know, the people who don't uh, get food uh, three times, I feel sorry for them. Yeah. Uh, I have no complaints. Uh, good and bad comes together and you enjoy yourself. But sir, one big blessing that has come around this time of the year now is the IPL coming back. So how good is it to have some cricket on TV after such a long break? I think IPL is uh, a cricket to me in life is a very small thing, very small percentage. I think the life itself is much, much bigger. Uh, you want to get entertained, you can get entertained anyway. It doesn't matter. Yes, when you're sitting home, you can see cricket which you love and enjoy throughout your life. You feel proud about that and you see uh, only IPL giving me is uh, to see uh, the future of Indian cricket, you know, the youngster. Yeah. That's what I look for. I don't look for more than that. I say, oh, great, you know, these young boys coming, next generation is coming, how good they are, those type of things. Uh, and I'm happy with myself. I'm not looking for anything. Yeah. So, so you spoke about the youngsters coming through in the IPL. Is there, are there any youngsters in particular that have impressed you this year? No, it, there is three, four youngster come out and you say, well, that's very good the way they are playing. I mean, I, I don't consider Rahul is a youngster, but I still think he is the next, uh, you know, very big cricketer on the horizon. And uh, uh, you see Sanju Samson, you want to see how good he can come out. And uh, you see, you know, Mayank Agarwal, how good he is playing. And then the young fast bowlers are coming up. So you look up to them. And I feel uh, competition among wicket keeper who will take the position. Those type of things I look for. And it's a wonderful, uh, a little disappointed in the beginning because these cricketers who are in their prime, they didn't get time to play. So they were out of shape a little bit. But yeah. Now, after halfway through, I can see that the boy is looking much, much better. As some of the cricketer really put on a lot of weight. <laughs> so, uh, obviously, in this IPL also, we've seen fielding standards have been at the ends. So, a lot of catches have been dropped, but then we've also seen some magnificent saves. So, do you think that is down to uh, fitness or do you think that's down to just lack of practice? About the fielding, yes, good to see great catches, uh, great fielding. And uh, again, uh, they look, uh, they are not so much in practice dropping very simple catches. And best of the best fielder, like Jadeja dropping catches, yeah. and Virat Kohli dropping catches. And you say, hello, what's happening, man? So there is good and bad is together. 
Uh, sir, so there are some young all-rounders also this year in the IPL. We finally got to see Nagar Koti after two years out with injury. Uh, so uh, what do you think is the trick to remaining fit? Because you are such a successful all-rounder. Everybody around the world knows how great an all-rounder you were. What advice would you give to these all-rounders? Even Pandya is just coming back from injury, still not being able to bowl. So what advice would you give to them to stay fit and continue being good all-rounders? First of all, all the youngsters should understand their body. Not try to say, he's doing this and he's doing that. I have to do. You see your body, how much strength you have. Then start working on it. And, you know, they they seen too many books or too many stories. <laughs> they just want to follow. Every youngster have to write their own story and say, this is my strength and I have to work on that. Uh, I would say youngster should understand what is the strength they have, how quickly they can understand that. Once they understand their strength, the thing can be much better. So when you were starting out, how long did it take you to understand your strengths and weaknesses when you were playing and how did you work on them? Uh, it took me time to understand uh, a couple of years. Once you landed in international cricket, uh, maybe two years to, uh, to understand who am I. And once I understand my body, it was far easier for me to play the game. Uh, otherwise, uh, when you're 18 years old, you're always listening the comment and you're not so mature. You listen what other people say and other people don't know your body. You yeah. know your body. So it took me two, two and a half years. When the first time, when you found out that they want to make a movie on the 1983 team, how, what was your first reaction like? No, I didn't like it. I said, no, it's not, uh, you know, it's too early. I don't know, I wasn't comfortable. And some of the players were okay. Some of the players said, no, we shouldn't have that. Because uh, everybody have seen 83 World Cup apart from a few things and then they narrated the story front of us and I felt that it's not bad. Then slowly we all 15 people start you know giving time to that. It's not a bad thing after so many years if the people want to know how and what we did during that period. It was okay, but in the beginning, first when I heard, I was uncomfortable. So, have you had a chance to watch the movie yet? Have you had a? Not at all. I only seen uh, five minutes of uh, a movie, uh, what they showed against Zimbabwe. That's all. Otherwise, I said I don't want to see. I want to see with the people, because that's the only thing we don't have on record. Rest, everything is here in our computer. So mm -hmm. whatever they are making, I like to be not special to watch before yeah. other people watching. I like to be one of them, a common person. Everybody watching, I'll watch. I'll give my opinion how good or bad that movie is. You just mentioned uh, one seven, uh, your Zimbabwe match that you saw the five minute clip. That was obviously at Tunbridge Wells and you scored 175. I know that uh, you went back and you were very involved with that. You were there at the ground when they were shooting that uh, movie. So how was it going back to Tunbridge Wells? Did everything look the same or has it changed a lot since you were there? Well, the ground was uh, almost just the same, a little bit changed. I, I was a little surprised. Uh, almost after 35 years, I thought it uh, should have changed a lot more than what I expected. Uh, it wasn't changed so much as compared to some other cricketing ground, but uh, uh, it's a, a countryside cl club, so it was okay. Did you go on the pitch and have a hit? Uh, no, I stopped playing. I didn't have any hit. I, I was just watching, uh, you know, Kabir Khan's uh, full team working on that and we uh, playing that. That's all. I don't have to play and uh, try to hit uh, them. Yeah. Right. So, uh, well, you've also inspired a generation of cricketers to take up cricket. Sachin Tendulkar has repeatedly said that the 1983 World Cup win inspired him to pick up a cricket bat and play cricket. So, how does it feel that so many cricketers coming through the uh, coming through the ranks 
always repeatedly talk about 1983 and what an impact it had on their lives. I think <clears throat> accident people remember that. Uh, it was a big accident and nobody forgotten. And uh, if somebody like Sachin Tendulkar got, uh, you know, passion about that after that, uh, we feel proud about that. And this is what our job is. Uh, now, 2007, they won the World Cup. Lord, next generation, they look up to Dhoni and his team. So it's going to happen. It's bound to happen. So you feel very happy and proud about that. You're taking the game to a different level and people follow your sports. So you just mentioned MS Dhoni there. He recently retired from international cricket. You said that he's inspired a generation of cricketers, which he has, of course. So what mark do you think he's left on the international game and how do you think people will remember his career? More as a captain or as a finisher? I think as a player, as a person, uh, in everything, when you play for 15 years or more than that, there's so many things to talk about that. And uh, I think as a captain, he done a great job and lead the team from front. That's very, very important. And after that, uh, he won matches so much, uh, so many matches for for his team. And somebody coming number six, seven, and brings so many positive results. I think that is incredible. Obviously, retirement, every cricketer has to retire someday. So, a lot of players, I've watched a lot of interviews where they say that when they retire, they don't know what the next step of their career is. So when you finished playing, so you've done commentary, you've done coaching as well. So at that time, did you know what you wanted to do? Now, again, <clears throat> I want to spend time with myself. That was the best thing after stop playing. But uh, slowly you come to make a terms with yourself what exactly you want to do. Everybody has a different surrounding environment. And uh, you start uh, doing things. And I felt, uh, to me, I don't want to go close to cricket. I want to stay away from cricket uh, for a few years. Because I uh, remember since I was born, uh, I only played cricket. So you want to go off and try to do, do other things. Some of the cricketer I met, they just don't want to leave the game. Yeah. So I said, no, I, I want to want to know the world differently. I, I missed out a lot of things when I was playing cricket. Can I, can I discover a few more things which I couldn't do while playing cricket? So, sir, one of the things which I've heard, and you have to tell me if you've discovered, is playing golf. You absolutely love playing golf. Is that true? I think it's a wonderful. Of course, I'm very happy. Uh, I discovered myself uh, after stop playing cricket. I'm a, I like to play a very individual game, but it happened. I played cricket; it's a team game. And uh, when you, when I played golf, then I realized I'm very individual, a person who can take a pride and take uh, you know criticism on my own performance. But uh, I think. When I was young, I picked a game which uh, it's a team game. I enjoyed that, but I'm a very important for me is what I can do myself. I've watched some of your interviews as well in which you have talked about making the right financial decision. So when did you uh, come to the realization that it's important to make the right financial decision at a young age? This happened when I was captain. <clears throat> and Chandu Bode was our manager and uh, in one of the test matches over he said uh, uh, captain I'm going back to my hometown I'll see you in three four days and we finished the match by 11 o'clock in the morning and uh, I said okay Chandu I see you and at three o'clock he was still there so I said to him I said manager Chandu bhai, what happened? You haven't gone to Pune, it's two hours from Bombay, so you're still hanging around. He said, I haven't got my daily announced that secretary of the board is sleeping. It, it was a, such a lesson to me, which I could not believe a man of his caliber had to wait for his TAD 
Mm. And I said, when I stop playing, I hope this situation shouldn't come to me. And that's the day I changed my thought process. I said, no, I have to make my life. I don't have to depend on my TAD. Yeah. So, sir, uh, then did you uh, speak to some people regarding these investments or did you make them yourself or decide how you want to manage your money? Was that a conscious decision you made yourself or you took help of some other people as well? Some, some senior cricketer said, if you want to be successful, keep your eyes and ears open while sleeping also. <laughs> so what happened is uh, then I come to know, I have to see what's happening around me. And that's give me a uh, next step is where, how I can save my money and make it a uh, beautiful future for myself and where to invest, what to do. And that's how it is. You have to learn yourself. Some people will come out, give you advice for a day or two, but eventually you have to work hard to, uh, to maintain that. You don't have to depend on many people, depend on yourself. So, sir, is that the advice you would give to young cricketers coming through who have earned big IPL contracts that, uh, to manage their money well and how they would do it? Yeah, I would like to see they are having Ferrari or Rolex watches and uh, Rolls Royce. I think it's important to have your house first and that's very important. But again, when you are 20 years old, your passion is to have a Ferrari, you can't stop them. Every individual is different, but I think I would only say to youngster, yeah, don't try to show off your money. Just keep it and invest at the right time so you can have similar lifestyle throughout your life. Uh, today you are getting whatever the amount you are getting. Maybe once you stop, you are not going to get that. Can you have the same lifestyle what you have today? you will be a successful person then. Yeah. So, sir, uh, uh, talking about young cricketers, a lot of the young cricketers coming through now, because, uh, because of the big IPL contracts, they're focusing on T20 cricket rather than re wanting to represent the country. So, do you think that's a good thing or it's a bad thing or it doesn't matter? It's a very individual. If they can, they can count playing IPL is bigger, for, bigger than the country, then I can't say anything. Every individual have their own responsibility. And uh, I would say to me, playing for the country is the biggest thing. But if they think IPL is bigger than uh, playing for the country, good luck to them. They're very individual. I can't really tell them do this or do that. Uh, but you can ask me, how can I tell a youngster what you do because I don't know his surrounding. Yeah. So last question, sir, if uh, you had to give one advice to any young budding cricketer, all rounder rather coming through, what advice would you give him to get to the top? Just enjoy your passion and don't try to show off and uh, play the sports uh, where you're getting happiness. Don't try to show off. Uh, a lot of people these days, youngster, uh, I don't know if it's to say right or wrong, but I could see they're, they're too much trying to show the gesture, which in our time we never used to do that. And we used to say, you don't have to say if you made a zero, you made a zero. And you don't have to hit the bat to the pad or to the helmet or to feeling bad. And just don't do too much show off. But today's business is show off, so I can't stop them. Thank you so much, sir. I really appreciate you taking out the time and speaking to me. Uh, I, I thank you so much. I just really appreciate it, and it's been really nice. All the best and good luck. Thank you, sir, so much.